What's up guys, Epox here. So what would you say if I had a fix to the freeze issue on Fallout 3 for multi-core computers or if you're running Windows 7? Would you be surprised? Would you be excited that you're finally going to fix your Fallout 3 and you finally play it on your new computer or on your computer that you've never been able to play it on before? Well, don't worry guys, I have that solution for you guys today. So if you could click that like button down below for this solution, that that will greatly help me out and get this out to there to other people that are having this issue so anyways what you're about to see is the freeze itself and then later on in this video I'm gonna show you the freeze when it's fixed so there's no more freeze and right there is the freeze right BAM okay it's now frozen and I'm gonna show you guys how to fix this freeze in this video today so hope you stay here for this little tutorial What's up guys, Epox here, so today I'm going to be showing you how to fix the Fallout 3 freeze issue, and first off, this is going to be the multi-core issue, if you do not have multi-cores, which you most likely do, say if you have like 4 cores or 2 cores or something like that, I don't know, 8 cores, I have 8 cores, so I had to do this, but anyways, to fix this core issue, you want to go to documents, and you want to go to my games, and you go to Fallout 3, I'm pretty sure it's the same for the disc and the Steam version. I have the Steam version personally because it's easier to use, but it, I, I don't know. It, just find your fallout.any, not the other any file that uh, is there. But anyways, you want to click on the fallout any file. You want to open that up. You can either open it up in normal notepad or notepad++. notepad++. Plus plus. I highly recommend Notepad++, but I'm going to use Notepad just to make sure all of you guys have the program. So anyways, what you want to do is you want to scroll down. It should be right in the first little section right here near the bottom. It says be use threaded AI equals and then on your computer it's most likely going to say zero and what you want to do is you want to change that to one. Now right here where it says inum hw threads equals two that won't normally be there. So you want to import this. I will put this down in the description just in case you guys can't see it on the screen. It says lowercase i uh, uppercase N U M capital H capital W capital T H R E A D S equals two. So that's going to make it so that your game uses two cores instead of using one or whatever. I'm uh, not. Sh I'm not sure why Fallout 3 can't use all of your cores and make the game run better, but you know whatever if you're if you put more than that it's most likely gonna crash your game again so just keep it at that and after you've done that you can click save but I'm just gonna close as I have already saved and I don't wanna mess it up so I'm just gonna click don't save and then after that what you wanna do is you want to go where is it where's steam okay steams right here you wanna go ahead and click play and not sure if you guys can see this. I'm going to hope that you guys can see this. I'm going to click options. And as you can see, I have all my normal settings. I can actually hit 8 there. Uh, you can keep all your normal settings. You can have everything normal. You don't have to play on windowed mode. This is You do not require windowed mode. So, yeah, you guys can keep all your normal settings. If you play on ultra with max everything settings, you can go ahead and keep that, which is what I play on. And I don't want to play any lower. So, I'm glad that you can keep that. So anyways, I just wanted to show you guys that. Now also there is a D3, D9, or DX, D9, can't remember what it was called. Uh, but the download link for that is going to be down in the description below. And it's going to give you a little file here. I'll show you guys it right now. I can actually probably go like this into my common files. And I'll go straight to my Fallout 3. So you want to go to your Steam apps or wherever your Fallout 3 directory is where you can see the Fallout3.exe and you're going to get this file from the download link D3D9 and you want to just drag it into this directory right here with the Fallout3.exe and after you've done that you just want to go ahead and start up the game. Uh, where is it? Where is my game? It's on Steam. Alright, so you want to click play and you just want to s open it up so let's go ahead alright so now that you have it opened up your game you want to go ahead and you want to alt tab 
After you've Alt-Tabbed, you want to go ahead and go to Task Manager. So you want to click Control-Alt-Delete. And that will open up your Task Manager thing, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you can also, if you don't want to do that, you can right-click down here and click Start Task Manager. And it will open up this. Then you want to go to Applications, right-click, and click uh, uh, Go to Process. Or you can just go to Processes and find your Follow3.exe. Either or, totally fine. So you want to right click on Follow3.exe and you want to go down to Properties. And after you've gone to Properties, you want to go to Compatibility and you want to check this, run this program in Compatibility Mode 4. And then you want to go to Windows 7 or Windows XP Service Pack 2, sorry. And you want to select that. And then you want to click Apply and then click OK. And then. Your Fallout 3 should be working perfectly. If it's not, let me know down in the comments below, and I'll try and help you out at the best of my ability. But remember guys, I'm only human, and humans make mistakes. Humans don't know everything. So in this guys, I'm Epoxy. That's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please click the like button down below if you stayed to this point, or if this tutorial helped you out. And also guys, don't forget to stay sexy and stay gay. Let's see, are you a boy or a girl? It's a boy. A boy. We've got a son, Catherine. A beautiful, healthy baby boy. Oh, oh James. We did it. A son. A beautiful son. You've got a bright future ahead of you, son. I'm sure of it. Look at you. Look at you. Hi there. I'm your daddy, little guy. Daddy. You're going to need a name, aren't you? Your mother and I have been talking. What do you think about... That's a good name, don't you think? Fits you perfectly. Looks like they've finished the gene projection. Let's see what you'll look like when you're all grown up. You're going to look a lot like your dad. See that, Catherine? Oh, oh. Very strapping. <laughs> it's a big world out there, son. Full of all sorts of people. What about you? What kind of person are you going to be? J You're just James? a... Catherine? James. Catherine! She's in cardiac James. arrest. Start compression. James. Get the baby out of here. Move! Move! One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Come on. Hang on, Catherine. Hang on. It's you and me now. Okay? You one me. We need a doctor, not a dead man. This one's on the house. Fail to meet my expectations. Now, and there don't look be straight into the light now. James and his cheerly chatter. Decorations. May your future be bright, boys. Boy. This place will feel just like Come home. on over here, son. Come on. Walk to daddy. You can do it. Just a little further. You can do it. Over here. Just a little further. There you go. My goodness. Just... <laughs>